Chinese game company, 14,000 companies went bankrupt. No online new approval. In China, when authorities are increasingly controlling the game industry, game-related companies are in trouble. The screening of online games has been rigorous, and since the end of July last year, there has been no approval for the release of new works and 14,000 companies have been bankrupt in the past five months. Restructuring is also occurring one after another. It seems that the movement to seek a way to live in unregulated overseas markets such as Japan will accelerate more than ever. In China, when publishing online games, it is necessary to review and approve the National Newspaper Publishing Office, which has jurisdiction over the media. According to the South China Morning Post, the Hong Kong English newspaper, the station has been rigorously judging since last summer. In addition to violating the law and leaking national secrets, it seems that the content that players commit murder and female men and distortion of historical facts have been newly regulated. At a workshop held last year by a Chinese government game organization, it was stated that games should reflect correct values and correct understanding of Chinese history and culture rather than pure entertainment without political colors. In early August, an economic reference report of state-run telecommunications and Xinhua newspapers criticized the online game as an opium that smears the spirit of children. And it is an IT giant, IT giant who deals with the popular game Champion YIAO in China by name. The stock price of Natiki, a Chinese IT company known for its popular game Wilderness Action in Japan, has plummeted. From September companies have been obliged to limit the time that minors under the age of 18 can play online games only from 8 o'clock a.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. on Fridays, Saturdays, and statutory holidays. In addition to narrowing down the number of new games to prevent game addiction for children, who are serious social problems in China, there is a viewpoint that it is part of strengthening the control of the IT industry by authorities. Until last summer, the National Newspaper Publishing Office has published a list of approved games about once a month. However, the list update has stopped since July 22 last year. According to the Securities Daily of China Media, there are more than 300,000 game-related companies with a capital of less than 10 million yuan in China, and about 18,000 companies went bankrupt in a year in 2020, but in 21 years, about 14,000 companies went bankrupt only after July. At the end of last year, a wave of business reduction and personnel reduction is spreading, with the forecast that Baidu, a major online search company, will shrink the game department and restructuring more than 300 people. An executive of a game company in Hangzhou City, Zhejiang Province, where the game industry is thriving said, We are developing new works, but we don't know when the authorities will approve it. We will focus on overseas businesses such as Japan, South Korea, and the United States without regulations, he said.